Chapter 12. Give and Take. Let's try an example with just numbers. Let's try to find out how many pearls John and Amir bought in total. Here I have a column for necklaces and a column for loose pearls. We know that John has 23 pearls. So that's two necklaces and three loose pearls. Amir in total bought 39 pearls. So that's three necklaces and nine loose pearls. Let's add this up now. Let's count all the loose pearls first. Three plus nine equals 12. So 12 has two ones and one 10. So that means it has one necklace and two loose pearls. So we write the number two under the loose pearls or in the ones place. And we carry over this one necklace to the necklace group or the tens place. So we'll put that one over here. So that's one plus two equals three. And we know three plus three equals six. So that's six necklaces in total. So John and Amir have six necklaces and two pearls, or you could say 62 pearls in total. Now we know from before John has 23 pearls. Let's say he decides to give 12 pearls to his mother. So now, how many is he left with? So we know that John has two necklaces and three loose pearls. Now if we look at John's mom, if she has 12 pearls, that means she has one necklace and two loose pearls. Now to find the answer of how many pearls is John left with, let's first find out how many loose pearls are left with John. So we know that John had three loose pearls, and he gave away these two pearls to his mom. So he's left with one loose pearl. So let's draw that. So three minus two gives you one. That's one loose pearl. Let's move on to the necklaces. We know that he had two. So if he gives away one, that leaves him with just one necklace. So two minus one equals one. So now he only has 11 pearls. Let me give you a different example. Priya had 35 pearls. Let me write that down here. 35 pearls means three necklaces and five loose pearls. Now she gave away 18 pearls to her friend. So that's one necklace and eight loose pearls. Let me write that in numbers here. So let's try to subtract the loose pearls first. If you look over here, you'll see Priya has five loose pearls and she gives her friend eight loose pearls. How do we give away eight when you only have five loose pearls? We know that each necklace is a group of 10 pearls. So this is what we can do. We can open out one necklace. So what we're left with will be two necklaces, 10 loose pearls, plus the five that Priya already has, which makes it 15 loose pearls. We can now give away eight from 15. So let's scratch out eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the eight loose pearls that Priya gave to her friend. Let's count how many loose pearls is Priya left with. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Priya is left with seven loose pearls. Now let's come to the group of necklaces. We have two necklaces here. Priya gave away one necklace to her friend. We'll scratch out one necklace. That necklace is now down here. That's the one that Priya gave to her friend. She's only left with one necklace. So let's write that down here. So in total, Priya now has 17 pearls. Now let's go to the problem over here. We've written it in numbers. We cannot subtract eight loose pearls from five. So when we board 110, we were only left with 
two necklaces. And we added a 10 over here. So in total, we had 15 loose pearls. And now we can subtract 8 from 15 loose pearls. And the number here we got was 7. And now with two necklaces, you've minus one necklace, which leaves you with one necklace. And the answer here is 17. 17 pearls is what Priya is left with. Let's do one more for practice.